Welcome back guys, brand new video. Uh, we're going to be discussing the England vs Czech Republic game, obviously Lewis, obviously, by the title. You know what you've clicked on, you wouldn't have clicked it otherwise. Right, I feel like these videos are becoming a copy and paste and I could have literally just put the exact same video out against Croatia and Scotland actually. Maybe more so Croatia because Scotland were just were the worst out of all three. Um, but I feel like I could just put the same video out. We start okay. Start all right. I'll be a bit more post, like a bit more optimistic. We we started good. I, I, I mean, maybe we were good. We were, we were all right. But I think we, I think what we were in the first twenty minutes is how we should be all game. I don't think because it's so. What's the word? Because because we're so poor so frequently and so uninspiring, I think when we have those periods of when we have those periods of like when we start pressing like we did the other night in like patches in games, I think when we do that, everyone's like, Oh my god, we're so good. Whereas that should be this that should be the standard and the blueprint all ninety minutes. Maybe not the intense pressing, you can't do that, right? But you pick and choose. You pick and choose. You pick and choose players from the other team that you know you can press and get on. Right, so if the if the if the other team's got a right back who's a bit susceptible to lack of composure, all the team know that, right? You brief them before the game, and as soon as the ball starts going out to him, bang, you're on him, right? You're on all their options, you're on the right midfielder, you're on the centre back, you're on the centre midfielder, and then you get someone tight behind the striker in case he decides to go along. Like it's not it's it's not terribly difficult, but we I think we make it look so difficult. We make football look ridiculously hard. Now I put something in my Discord earlier. Uh, let me just find it. It's literally just here. Right, here we go. So, this is literally at the Euros, yeah? At the Euros, between all 24 teams, <clears throat> shots per game, right? So, Italy at the top with 20. Denmark second, 19.7, right? And then it drops actually quite significantly, which is quite impressive from Italy and Denmark, especially Denmark, who had a tougher group than Italy. Switzerland 15.7, which you wouldn't think, Switzerland not done too much. Um, Netherlands 15.3, which you'd expect. Spain 14.5. Scotland 13.7. <clears throat> and then literally, right, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down. England, third from bottom, 7.3 shots per game. Now, this is less than, less than Russia, Sweden, Czech Republic in our group, Wales, it's less than Ukraine. It's less than Slovakia. It's less than Poland, Macedonia, Austria, Turkey. It's less than Scotland, as we've mentioned. It's less than Spain, Netherlands, as you'd expect. The only teams lower than us, there's two teams lower than us, right? Finland, Hungary. And now you can you can sort of excuse Hungary because they've had three ridiculously tough games. So for me, we'd be second. If Hungary had played in a different group, they'd have more than, or than us, right? Finland, fair enough. They've not been great. But it's Finland. That they should be down there. We're, we're third from bottom. 7.3 shots per game. In the second half yesterday against Czech Republic, we didn't have a shot. No, not a shot on target. We didn't have a shot. We didn't have a shot. Like, nothing. And I think people just watch these games and we just and they just breeze through it. It's sort of like, oh, well, we won. Like, their takeaway point from the game isn't anything bigger or anything... Like mind bending or anything. Like the, the, the sole thing that people take away from these games is we won, right? <clears throat> now that's fine in the group stage against Czech Republic and Scotland, which they did. Play, they played better than us, but historically that's fine against those teams, <clears throat> right? It's not fine in the next round when we play against Germany, France, or Portugal, because that's what we're going to get. And this video, the next video, <clears throat> will be. Decidedly different, and it's going to start with. I told you so. That's what it's going to start with. That is exactly what it's going to start with. I'm going to start the video with. I told you so. Um, like, that's what it's going to be. That's just the way it's going to be. It's going to start with. I told you so because. <clears throat> I understand the the hope and the optimism. I get it. Right. I want us to win it. Of course, I do. But I can't ignore what's in front of me, right? I can't ignore it. Now, I don't think this video is going to be a long video, to be honest, because I don't think there's much to say. <clears throat> we had patches where we were okay. 
we had more patches when we weren't okay and we looked decidedly average. And that the, the, the thing I saw this morning about shots per game with Italy being at the top with 20 and then Denmark 19.7 and we're third from bottom with 7.3 shots per game. With all our attacking talent, 7.3. It's not even 8. It's more close to 7. Like, how... how when, you, when you won up against Czech Republic like last night, why do you not want to get two and three goals? Why are you fine just passing it sideways again? Like, I, why is our default always not concede? Because eventually we are going to concede. <laughs> and then what we're going to do? Because we, we struggle to score and we struggle to create chances. So when, when we do concede, because we will, because we're going to play against top, top teams and they will score past us, it's just part and parcel of football. Right? We're not going to keep a clean sheet in every single match of the tournament and, and win it with no goals conceded. It's going to happen at some point. Well, let's be realistic. It will. Havertz will put one in, or Ronaldo will, or Mbappe, or whoever. They'll put one in against us. Of course they will. It's not like we've got superhumans at the back. So what's going to happen when that happens? What are we going to do? We're going to be like, oh, we've never been in this position. Lads, anyone know? Like, just be looking at each other. Like, what do we do? And the only person that's got an answer to that is Sterling because he's the only person that's scored. The person that everyone gets on the, his back the most, right, apart from Kane this week, but usually it's Sterling. Everyone gets on his back, even for club football. He's Sterling and he's the one that scored two goals. The rest of them haven't scored. Like, I want to be positive. I want to be positive. I want to be upbeat. I want to be upbeat. With the, with the year, last year or two we've had, I want to be upbeat, right? I want to be. And I just don't look forward to watching the matches. I do not look forward to it. I, I look I looked forward more to watching every other team than us. Now you might think, oh, that's because it's your nation, you get a bit nervous. I don't get nervous when I watch us because I don't... I feel like ultimately, at the time, I'm bothered, right? I'm annoyed if we're losing. But afterwards, I feel like I'd sit back and just be like, okay, I don't really mind if we lost like that's poor I want to feel connected like I used to when I was younger I used to I used to be like sat there like heading every ball tackling every tackle like I'd be I'd sat there and care I'd be annoyed afterwards I'd be excited and nervous before and I don't I'm not anymore I'm not I've got a disconnect to the national team and I don't like it and I wish I didn't have it but it just comes from the negative the negative way we do things, it's always oh let's not let's not concede, oh let's let's let's, let's block crosses, let's let's close stuff down. Like it's not let's go and let's go and create five six good chances a game. It's it's not that because we we'll, look at our players. We will take those chances if we create five six good chances a game like Germany do in France. If we do that, we probably score three or four. We've got really good finishers in our team. Sterling, over the last couple of years, whatever you want to say about him, he's scored a lot of goals for a winger. A lot of goals. Rashford's always scored, you've, what, 15 a season? Kane? Don't need to say any more than that. But yeah, I don't know. People, I think people watching this will probably think, well, have you lost all three games, England? Have they lost all three? I know, I understand. I get it. But I'm trying to look over it. I'm trying to look over the top of the immediate. The immediate. Oh, we won one nil, right? There's more to it than that. There's 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 question marks. There's cracks. There's there's things I can see that's going to be a problem in a week's time. And I and I, and I, when that does happen, when we play against a good team in the next round, and we, I think, lose. What's people going to say then? Are they going to be... What, what's going to happen? Is it going to be as si simple as, oh, well, anyone can lose to them? But why do we always lose to them? Why do we always lose to bigger teams in, in international tournaments? Why? Like, there's a problem. And if we're just going to stick his head in the sands, it'll never get fixed. And every single tournament, we'll blindly walk into it going, oh, it's coming home, we're going to win it, we're favourites. And then every round of 16, quarterfinal, semi-final, whatever... We're just going to be like, oh, well, next time, yeah. next time. And then we forget about it again. In two years' time, we forget about that. It's gone. <laughs> like, we're so blind. 
Look at Germany. They got they had a really bad experience and they went away and restructured their whole footballing system. Right? They restructured the whole system. To the point where every like every club in Germany, I think there's a rule. I pre- I'm pretty sure I read this. I'm almost certain anyway. If you're German and you're watching this, put it in the put it in the uh, put it in the chat. But a percentage of all German teams um money that they make, they have to put a certain amount into facilities, I think. That's why if you go to Germany, like if you're going to third division of Germany or even fourth division, there's like twenty thousand seaters. Like I'm not saying we should do that. We've got some good stadiums in League One and League Two, right? <clears throat> That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is they they had a reflection, they had a look at themselves. I think it was after they got beat by Brazil. Like, what was it, 7-1? Something like that. I think it was after that. They had, like, a, a self-reflection moment. And I feel like we don't do that. Like, it's like it's like, it's like like when we play a big team, like Belgium in the World Cup and Croatia, when we lost to them both, I think it's sort of like they're putting a mirror up to us and we just go, no, I don't want to look at that. No, 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 no. Don't care, don't care. Not bothered, not bothered. Not going to discuss the problems. And then they ignore it, we ignore it, we ignore it. We're basically like a family. We're basically like a family. We don't talk about our problems and discuss them. We just blindly walk from one tournament to the next with this optimism that, to be fair, I get. And I sort of envy it because I wish I had it. (laughs) And I want to be proved wrong. I want to be. I hope that we're just warming up and the round of 16, we're going to score a few goals and then we're just going to go on and on and on and win it. I hope so. And I'll be wrong. And that's good. I'm fine. But I can't see it. And I've got to say what I feel. So yeah, again, like the last video against Scotland, it's not much about the actual game because there wasn't much that happened. We scored pretty early. We had a few good chances in the first half and we got we were awful in the second half. We controlled the game, but you won't always control the game again in the, in the knockouts. And my cat's just jumped on that. <laughs> you can just see it just here. I'm filming. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Anyway, I was gonna anyway. She's uh, she's an imposter. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.